apparently, this is a question people ask, and they don't like it when you make fun of them. On November 8, Bill Nye, America's iconic science guy, was torn to shreds on Reddit while holding an online discussion to promote his TV show on Netflix. The show, modestly titled Bill Nye Saves the World, has been panned as shallow and out of touch, and so when Nye posted on Reddit, I'm Bill Nye and I'm on a quest to end dandy scientific thinking. AMA, ask me anything, the sound of knives being sharpened was deafening. Some of the greatest scorn concern his flippant response to the question if the sun is hot, why is space cold? Nye's full answer there is a fantastic amount of space in space. I mean it's not all that cold, is it? It's three Kelvins. Toasty. Comment from discussion Scrody 69's comment from discussion I'm Bill Nye and I'm on a quest to end dandy scientific thinking. AMA. So for all those angry Redditors, and everyone else who has ever wondered, here goes. I will not try to imitate Nye's signature style. If the sun is hot, why is space cold? First, you need to know that the question doesn't exactly make sense, not as phrased. Space is not cold, because space is not anything, it doesn't have a temperature. Temperature, technically, is a measure of how fast atoms and molecules are moving. So things in space, such as planets and stars and dust clouds and spaceships and astronauts, have temperature, because they are all made out of atoms and molecules. Space itself doesn't, because it is an apostrophe T. Okay. But even empty space contains atoms albeit not many. Deep space, far from stars and planets, is filled with a very thin gas, about one atom per spoonful 10 cubic centimeters of space. By contrast, a spoonful of air here on Earth contains 1,020 molecules, or more than 100 billion billion.